Boom, viewers, subscribers, back again with this quick update because trust, if it's not fun from me, it's not credible. I keep on telling you that you don't know the things that people. Plus, up on the cell phone, I labor day weekend, you have been over in style already. One bag of one, no one. And I gotta give you just some quick updates. While well, I go on from one out to go on, from the people then that you see and you don't see on the screen. It's in my side, but you know my thing already, just like and share from now. And let's get into it. <laughs> okay, people. <laughs> But now I gotta tell you, no lie, people. Silk Boss definitely got himself in that hot water, and I don't think his money is long enough to get himself out of it, you feel me? Because he's upset. Some really dangerous man. Yes, man, I'll tell you, no lie, I get an email about a certain individual um, that's, you know, the head of certain things, I should say. <laughs> You know what I mean? I won't go into full detail because I'm pretty sure you heard by now. You know what I mean? But yes, this thing with Silk Boss is not a good look because I'm gone and running mouth about the incident. Yes, we all seen the video and all of those stuff and those people that put out the video, the golf man, them definitely attracted some heat that they I don't think was anticipating. You know what I mean? Because now the police is investigating everybody and everything. You know what I mean? So Silk Boss and these individuals brought this down on themselves, you know. I don't think the individuals really start this thing out. But yeah, the police them is investigating and they want Silk Boss to come in because he's basically snitching on niggas, but he's not making an official police report. You know what I mean? We heard the voice notes. Um, after we seen the video, he said that, you know, a bad mind friend them them get robbed. You know, almost a million dollar uh, out of your simulator. And then they into a big, big interview on, on stage TV. You know what I mean? And after he did that interview, that's what prompted the police them to, you know, tell him to come down, you know, and check them. And tell them what I'm going from what not to go on because this is their official police report. I mean, press release. Boy, people may not lie to the email that me get. Man, me think me have to do a review about that separately, you know. Because all the they might like call up some people near, you know. Boy, 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 boy. A clansman and all them thing there. And some top dancer artists and all of this stuff. I'm pretty sure they know already. But anyway, the press release said this. St. Catherine South Police have taken note of multiple videos circulating on various social media platforms indicating an assault on an entertainer, Mr. Rowan Reed, popularly known as Silk Boss. Investigators are also aware of documents, events, and subsequent videos and interviews given by Mr. Reed That's on stage TV. The police are therefore urging Mr. Reed to make a contact with the detectives at the Portmore Police immediately. He may visit the station, which is located at um, Brayton Parkway in Portmore, St. Catherine. Alternatively, uh, you know, them kind of call him, you see, I say, so. It's not a good look, you see, I say. It's not a good look. I'm sure I just keep him mouth shut about the even incident and just putting our music, you know. I mean, why, 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 why people putting out a comment section? What do you think? I know I'm have a youth on the way. And all of these things is, is running behind him, but was giving them quick update while I go on from another go on. This is seven people. Let's proceed. Oh, before I forget, the one Bree Smart, you know, man, I'm gonna lie to you. She's smarter than homeboy next to her because we heard the voice note saying that she'd get box up and all of these things. You know what I mean? And we know it's because of her why he went to that event. It's in my answer. Um, but she said on on stage TV she wasn't there. You know what I mean? So that means she doesn't know of any crime that has taken place. She didn't witness anything. You know what I mean? So, yeah, just wanted to put that in there. You see me? Okay, people. More on giving her update on what I'm going from what I'm going with Tani Kiss. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I'm hearing there's so-called uh, one witness that came forward. Um, disguising their voice or whatnot, whatnot. Um, but I don't know if they went to the police. You feel what I'm saying? I could be wrong and they can correct me in the comment section, but I came across this Crime Stopper um, 
poster with tiny picture on it obviously with a you know reward for thirty five hundred dollar us if anybody can tell them you know anything that happened that night because she was shot you know so i don't know why the family is saying that she was stabbed in the head with a bottle or whatnot but the police them is saying she has been shot unless this is not a real um crime stopper reward you know what I mean? And I say that because, you know, there's not a lot of noise from the NYPD uh, about this case. You know, someone died on the streets of New York, <laughs> you feel me, in front of more than one people. It's embarrassing. And that's what I come to talk about, people, why I feel that Tani Lee might not get justice because who wants to be labeled as a snitch? You feel what I'm saying? And you know you're dealing with some dangerous people because... Obviously, they took the life of a human being, you see me? And as you can see, their page is still um, popping-ish, you feel me? And this is what they had to say. Tani is alleged um, killer, you see me? The page said, you are y'all island dancer, a motherfucker still chatting like y'all ain't get the memo the other night. But watch this time around with the rest of y'all, you see me? I see. And that's what I'm coming to tell you, people. You know, one thing is, is talking on social media, but the next thing is actually going to have a sit down with the police and tell them, yes, I witnessed, um, I witnessed her, you know, bodied her. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm willing to testify in court. You know, it's the person that's going to testify in court is going to get um, paged, if you know what I mean. You see me, I said, because without no witness, you know, the alleged killer is, you know, liable to walk free. You know what I mean? Because it's their word against, you know, obviously Tani's that's not here. You see what I'm saying? And from the videos that's out there, you know, I guess the lawyers of this person, if they goes that far, can pull a self-defense thing. You know what I mean? But if it's what's being said by the police that she has been shot, and now I'm talking Tani, that is a whole different argument. You know what I mean? Because she might get away with murder with Tani, but she might catch a charge um, uh, for the weapon. You see me, I say, if it was a gun that was used in this crime. You know what I mean? And it was said that she already served some time for taking a life of somebody else, so you know. Felons is not allowed with weapons, so, you know, I just wanted to put that out there, you know, because you have to think about all possible outcomes, you see me, I say, and you know, in the downtown community, promoters and patrons, them call police and dance all the time to get it locked down, but you can do that thing anonymously, you know what I mean, but, you know, this thing is not anonymous once you're testifying in court, so. You know, I don't think anybody in the dance hall world wants to be labeled as a snitch. And like I said, you're dealing with some dangerous people. I don't think nobody want to catch that heat there. You know, them old ages in my house. So, you know what I mean? Still, you know, you know, justice for the family, condolence for the family. But I'm mean, going to start telling them who I go on from what I to go on. You see me? Like I'm putting that in the comment section where you think you see it. Yeah. Okay, people, as usual, some interesting news I see going around of Jamaicans in America, and it's not good. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. You definitely know he's Jamaican as you're looking at the headline. Jamaican accused of beating a man with a rock in a U.S. hotel. Yes, a 19-year-old Jamaican man has been denied bail after allegedly using a rock to severely injure a man during a fight at a hotel in Harrisonburg, Pennsylvania, United States. Kamari Reed has been slapped with two felony charges for aggravated assault, including attempts to cause, you know, the bodily injury and all of these stuff. It's embarrassing. The other felony charge for, you know, aggravated assault. If you know what I'm saying, you know them always have slapped things and things and things on people. But here it is. The Jamaican whose preliminary hearing has been set for September 29th is also charged with two misdemeanors, you know, offense relative to the simplest. So, you know, they always try to give people a bag of charges and, you know, most of them end up getting trapped. But hopefully one of them stick, you know what I mean? But the allegations are outlined by the state. Uh, about 8.30 p.m. Sunday, August 28th, the Jamaican 
and the man engaged in a fight over a work issue at La Quinta Inn and Suites, located at West Hanover Township. During the scuffle, Jamaican threw a rock at the complainant before grabbing another and hitting him over and over. <laughs> why, 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 why? Take a pull, you know, but you don't know the things say blood gush and all of these stuff, you see, man, I said. And Reed was arrested by, you know, police officers outside and charged. It's simple, but child know our people. Also, that's the update, you know, on that river sex. Yes, people, you heard correct. River sex. Yes, we always hear about sex on the beach. But we never really hear about river sex. Put in the comment section. Which one is the best? Yes, having sex in the beach. <laughs> Or river sex, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I know, but yeah, we all seen that viral video of the Rasta man, you know, that, you know, needed the plastic bag to put it in. And all of these things, things from these tourists that came to Jamaica and recorded him in such act. Yeah, we're hearing these acts cost anywhere from 10 US dollars to 100 US dollars, depending on the type of the day, whether business is good or not. You feel me? But you don't know the things said. The other rafting people that must distance themselves from these things. And, you know, hopefully business can continue and not have them name tarnished, you feel me? But, yeah, it's crazy, though, you know what I mean? <laughs> I heard that the rest of man had a family and all of this stuff, so I don't even know. Or the wife, I got to take it, you see me? But that's a letting them know what I want from what I have to go on, the people that might distance themselves. But boy, people, back to the Jamaicans, them in America, yes. A Jamaican has been dubbed the Jamaica Tinder Swindler, you know, based off of the Netflix series and things and things. Um, for her scheme, you know, in catfishing wealthy CEOs, you feel what I'm saying? And jar no people. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. The women out there in the comment section is really on her side you know what i mean because they said men has been doing this for years you feel what i'm saying but nevertheless she's been blackmailing these wealthy individuals because they took you know compromising you know sexual um pictures and all of this stuff you see me also. but she has been locked up and you know she has been linked to you know multiple um crimes and these types of things you see me also. so you know what i mean if, if things you know, go true for the American system. She's going to get deported. It's embarrassing. She no people. But anyway, people know how long this will any longer. Y'all be safe this weekend. You see? Bless.